Hello good people from the YouTube, here's Marcelo Duran once again and I would like to start this uh, episode by saying I told you so Double album, Scott to the brim you did. Love for our hearts Oh, that's fucking good news, man No, honestly, that was really exciting So, you put out a double record Like, a few months ago or something And now you got a brand new double record That's two double that's fucking crazy. albums That's crazy, that's crazy is that, is that it? That is it right there, the return of the Dream Canteen, I believe it's coming Return of the, I like that, I like that, no, I like that. And I'm sure a lot of other people knew as well, because they were giving us all, all the, the tips and hints that they were going to do that. I just never thought they were going to do it in this same year that they put out uh, the Unlimited Love album. Whoops, upside down. I never thought they were going to put two records, like this one with 17 songs and another one the same year. Yeah, I never thought they would do that, but I knew that they had another album ready to come because they said that many times. Flea said, I cannot talk about it in interviews. <laughs> Did it work? <laughs> we recorded a lot. How a many lot, songs? Mark. A lot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So what's the plan? I can't really talk about it. Oh, you got one though? <laughs> kind of. Okay. Well, loosely, we we do and we don't, but but we recorded a lot of music, and we thought that these songs would go together and make a really good double album. As Nikita said, I cannot talk about it. But now I've got twenty songs to add to, and then it was twenty more, and then it was more, and, and I had a unique situation in so much as an interview. So there was something coming. There was something coming, and well, I told all my friends. And I did on I said on videos that I thought they had another album coming on. The point is that uh, Return of Dream Canteen looks like a very psychedelic album because of the of the cover. It has kind of this vibe of the video clip they did. It has a similar vibe that psychedelic funk kind of thing going on. And yeah, I'm really excited for that. I mean, October is just around the corner, and you know I just went to see their gig. And uh, I went to one day here in London. I'm gonna do a video about it. I'm gonna put if I'm not if I'm not out yet, but if it is, I'm gonna put it here in the corner. If it's not, it's coming next. Um, I mean, I went to the gig here in London, and I regret it not to go on the next day on Sunday as well. But it's good to see that they have a new album coming. That means more touring, I hope, and more circling around the world. Uh, and yeah, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people knew that something was about to happen because they were giving like the tips, even when they were talking on the uh, uh, the Rick Rubin podcast when Anthony said he had to do 40 lyrics or something like that. So it was obviously more to come. The f one thing that it got me a little bit scared about this whole situation, well, I'm hoping, situation A, that this is a new era of Red Hot Chili Peppers and they had COVID time and they were really inspired and they did all these songs and they went and put out two uh, double albums which is unprecedented in the their history or in recent uh, music uh, big artists mainstream artists history okay because you know no one does that you know so it would be like a waste and uh, strategically commercially it would be a waste but also that can mean the end. A lot of songs, all at once, to say goodbye. You know, a farewell kind of thing. World tour, big tour, maybe two years of tour, two albums with almost 20 songs on each, and goodbye. I don't think that is, but I have a little in the back of my mind, I'm scared because, come on, the guys are getting old and at some point they might want to stop, at some point they might have to stop. And that brings me to another thing that was worrying me about John. Because when I went to the gig, you know, he's always, you know, he's always stretching and pulling his fingers and stuff. And, you know, it's normal what you all do as a guitarist and stuff. He has his yoga things. and But he also has all that problem in his arms with... Um, with his skin and stuff, you know, all the, you know, the scars and, and I saw that he was putting some, you know, bandages and I guess to protect the skin from the sun or maybe to hydrate the skin that was dry or something, doesn't matter. But when he was stretching, 
you know, all the time. It's something that you see all the time. But he did in the middle of a song, in a chord. And for someone like John and Flea, they're really tense about what they're doing in front of the stage with 80,000 people or whatever. If you're having pain while you're holding a chord in your guitar, which can happen, it happens to guitars many times, it happens to me sometimes, you would just hold on to it and you muscle through the pain. If you have to drop the chord, it's because it's a lot of pain, like a lot of pain, okay? And I saw that happen. I saw that happening to him. He was holding a chord, he dropped it, he pulled his finger, and then he went back to it. And I got a little bit scared. A lot of, I'm going to say, I don't want to bring the mood down, but I, I was a bit scared about that. If John is having some problem with his arms and muscles and stuff, I don't know. I hope not. I hope that he was just not practicing guitar for a long time and then he's having a little cramps and stuff because he's playing a lot all the time every day. But anyway, let's hope it's the good stuff, you know, just a new era, no problems, no issues. And let's enjoy in October, it's just around the corner, the new album, Return of the Dream Canteen and another 20-ish songs for us to enjoy the funk psychedelic vibe that they're putting out recently and uh, and yeah and thanks for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video I'm doing a lot of videos on Red Hot Chili Peppers I do some covers and stuff like that I also have some music on Spotify these are mainly Brazilian rock but soon I'm gonna be putting uh, some uh, uh, well, songs that I've been doing recently in English, so it will be my next album. It's all in English, so I'm going to put here in this corner. Okay? And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.